What it do, YouTube? I'm David Sexton. This is Sexton EDT, and today we're gonna talk about my EDC sling bag or dop kit, kind of fanny pack. It is the REI large travel organizer. I'll be doing a straight review on this that I'll link to at the end of this video coming right after I show everything that I'm carrying in it. Long story short, love this bag. Carries everything I need that I don't already have in my pockets. I kind of have two stages of EDC. I have what I carry on me that's going to be on me anytime I leave the house. This guy, which is the next step up, if I want to take my tech type stuff, this is going to come with me. And then third step would be an actual bag where this drops in there and I can carry my laptop and some bigger electronics and clothes if I'm staying somewhere. Those are kind of the three phases. So I have my on me phase, my just kind of stepping out for a day phase, and then I have my longer trips. I'm going to be going to work and need to carry more stuff. So this is phase two. We've done phase one in my other EDC video that you might have seen. If you haven't, go check that out. It's good stuff. I'm awesome. Nonetheless, Let's get into what this organizer has. It has a fanny pack vibe to it. If you wanted to wear it as such, that kind of folds out. This comes out behind it. You loosen this strap up. And the thing that was so appealing to me, ah, uh, oh, it's a magnet. Magnets are so awesome, but it's a magnetic class for this price. That feature, quite amazing. I think I paid $45. Nothing else in that price range has that cool little feature. But to be honest with you, fanny packs are not really my vibe. So I wind up just stuffing that in there, but it has that capability. Should I want to wear it around the waist or across my chest <laughs> as a chest rig as people are wearing fanny packs now. But anyway, I just clasp that back together and stuff that in there. I end up just carrying it like a clutch as my wife makes fun of me for or I've got this cool little night eyes carabiner clip and a lot of times I'll just wind up throwing it on my belt walking to and from like a uh, tech Sporan. Are you familiar with the with the Sporan? You, you know what a Sporan is? The Scottish uh you know penis pouch for the the uh the 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 pecker purse. You know what I'm talking about the Scottish Sporan. Kilts don't have pockets. They wear Spo Ran. I kind of throw this on the front of my belt. I don't wear it for extended periods of time like this. This is just kind of get to and from the door to the car or from the car to wherever I'm going. If I have something in my hands or don't want to carry it, it does clip nicely there. That's how I wind up wearing it. To me, somehow that's better than a fanny pack. Tell me in the comments, does that look dumber or does that look better? I think it looks better. So that's how I wear it. So that's the bag. That's how I carry the bag. Now let's get into what's in the bag. We have my ever present, always on me iPad mini. I've done three or four videos about this guy now. Great little guy. Go get you one. It's awesome. It does have a divider pouch in there. It's good and padded, so it's a good place for a small tablet. An Amazon Kindle would fit in there. Any of your iPad minis will fit in there. It's divided as well, so if you got multiple things, you can carry that stuff in there. That's it for that pocket. I just carry my iPad mini. Now in the front pocket, it has a couple dividers. If you can see, just kind of some mesh stretchy pockets there. Then it has the open dump area, and then it has a little another little divider it's not as padded in here as it is in the back this is kind of more just for a dump pouch more or less then it has these little pin loops in it so good organization for such a small bag in it i carry this little guy it is a folding keyboard the best one that i found as you can see it's backlit and has little feet but that is a full-size keyboard that folds up that nicely and that small goes perfect with the iPad if I want to use it in a typing situation I've got a little mobile computing situation if I don't want to carry my whole laptop just want to do some quick writing this guy's perfect because like I said it is a full-sized keyboard is the exact same size as an Apple keyboard as far as the key layout physically it's not as big but the keys are the same and the same layout very very awesome link to that down in the description if you're interested in it I'll probably be doing a review specifically on that but that's the iClever BK05 like I said in the description check that out and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to check out the uh, review that I'll be doing on that and comparing it to a couple other folding small keyboards that I've used magic mouse a great combo right there and then sometimes I want to use that in portrait mode as opposed to landscape mode. So I have a little small kick out stand that I can get a couple more configurations out of the iPad that make it better for writing. 
in that regard. So I like that little setup. That's pretty good. What else do I carry in here? I have a couple little uh, spare keys and a key lash that comes with it and a nice little pull out neoprene guy. Some extra stuff I don't necessarily need to have on my person, but nice to have in case I need just spare keys to certain things I don't use on a daily basis. Then I also have a great little anchor 30 watt USB-C power brick that folds out. That is so tiny, so premium though. Fast charger, charges my iPad mini super quickly. Also have the Anchor USB-C cable with a couple adapters that'll let me go to micro and lightning so I can charge all of the things that I usually have on me on a daily basis right there. And then speaking of charging things that I use on a daily basis, this is a cool little guy that I picked up on Amazon that I will have in the description below. It's a little Apple Watch charger battery that has USB built in so you can recharge it directly from the device. That thing won't quite get my Apple Watch 4 all the way up to 100%. It'll give me about 75% capacity, great in a pinch if my watch is going out. And then a nice little Anchor lipstick. I think it's 5,000 mAh battery pack. So, you know, it'll get my iPad mini to about 75% on this little guy, but this is not something that I'm going to be going on long, long trips with. So it's nice to just have like a quick boost. And this guy here is really awesome. It's a D supplier screen solution cleaner with a little squeegee on the back. Again, I'll have links to most of this stuff down in the description. May even have some reviews on some of these things standalone before it's over with. Uh, this is just a little hand sanitizer that it's refillable screw uncaps and you can refill carry that with you not much bigger than the size of a highlighter so that's nice to have on you i have two quick little gold pins funny story about these these are like almost as old as i am these were my dad's when he used to sell houses for century 21 way back in the uh mid to late 80s kind of swiped those from him don't tell him he doesn't watch youtube he does watch youtube but i don't think he's watching my stuff nonetheless those pens came from him. Actually, one's a pen, one's a mechanical pencil, but I don't ever use them. That's kind of more for gee whiz, fun to carry around. And if I do happen to need a pen, then that's in there. That's pretty much it for the main pocket and the back pocket. And then it's got one more pocket that's much smaller, needs something a lot flatter. I wind up carrying just some extra masks in there. Not a lot of places around here anymore require it for us, but it's nice to have in case they do. But that's my EDC pouch dump. Not much to it. That's my extra carry phase two, I guess, as I called it. So what's not on my person gets carried in there. Not a bad little kit to have if we're just going out quick, going somewhere, and I want to at least have bare minimum computing capabilities. If you know, want to read or look some stuff up on the iPad or set it up as kind of a small remote workstation, I can actually get a little bit of work done. If the trip takes a little longer, if I find the moment to feel inspired to sit down and actually write, that's a nice little kit. Anyway, if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to see more videos like this in the future from me, go ahead and hit subscribe. Links to things in the description. And until next time, live free or don't. Mm -hmm.